Today, we're diving into what could be the most significant software update in Samsung's history, One UI 7.0. Originally expected in late July 2024, this Android 15-based update has been delayed. But according to sources, that extra wait might just be worth it because One UI 7.0 is promising Samsung users a software experience unlike anything before. Let's get into what makes this update so revolutionary. So first off, let's address the delay. The One UI 7.0 Beta was originally scheduled for late July, but Samsung decided to push it back. Now, usually delays can be frustrating, but this one is shaping up to be more of a blessing in disguise. Why? Because Samsung is said to be working on making One UI 7.0 the most impressive update in its software history. According to well-known tipster Ice Universe, One UI 7.0 will bring the biggest improvements we've ever seen from Samsung. This isn't just about a few new features, it's about making the entire system feel smoother, faster, and more polished than ever. Ice Universe describes the update as a complete transformation in how Samsung's software handles animations, transitions, and overall system fluidity. Imagine a more seamless experience across all your apps and tasks. That's what One UI 7.0 aims to deliver. Now, here's where it gets interesting. Ice Universe has even created his own smoothness scale to rate Samsung's software. On this scale, he gave One UI 6 a score of 60. The Galaxy S24 series with One UI 7 scored 85, while the Galaxy S25 series running the updated One UI 7.1 takes it up to an impressive 92. This is Ice Universe's personal assessment, not a scientific measurement, but it shows the leap in performance Samsung is aiming for. In simple terms, he's saying that One UI 7.0 makes One UI 6 look outdated by comparison. The Galaxy S25 series is expected to launch with One UI 7.1 on board, and this new software will be even more optimized on Samsung's upcoming flagship devices. With the Galaxy S25 Ultra, Samsung will combine this refined software with a new Snapdragon 8 Gen 4 processor, also known as the Snapdragon 8 Elite, and a hopping 16 gigabytes of RAM. This combination is predicted to create one of the most powerful and smooth mobile experiences ever. The Snapdragon 8 Elite is also rumored to bring massive improvements to power efficiency, AI processing, and overall speed. When paired with the optimized One UI 7, this processor should make the Galaxy S25 series one of the smoothest, fastest devices Samsung has ever released. For those eagerly waiting to get their hands on One UI 7, here's some good news. Samsung is planning to release a One UI 7.0 beta for the Galaxy S24 series in certain countries before the end of the year. This beta phase will allow Samsung to gather user feedback and identify any bugs or performance issues before the final rollout. The full stable release of One UI 7.0 is expected in early 2025, right around the launch of the Galaxy S25 series. So for those already on the Galaxy S24 or planning to upgrade to the S25, you'll be among the first to experience this groundbreaking update in its final polished form. One UI 7.0 represents more than just another update. It's a major milestone in Samsung's software journey. With a focus on delivering unmatched stability, responsiveness, and visual fluidity, Samsung is clearly stepping up its game to match and possibly exceed other competitors in the Android space. And the timing couldn't be better with the arrival of Snapdragon's next-gen chip to further elevate this experience. So, to all Samsung fans out there, One UI 7.0 is shaping up to be worth the wait. Whether you're excited about the smoother animations, enhanced transitions, or the synergy with next-gen hardware, this update promises to redefine what we can expect from Samsung's software. Drop a comment and let us know what feature you're most looking forward to in One UI 7.0. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon so you don't miss any of our updates. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video. Now let's dive into the exciting showdown between two of the biggest heavyweights in the smartphone world. Apple's iPhone 16 Pro Max and Samsung's Galaxy S24 Ultra. Both of these phones push the boundaries of mobile technology, offering cutting-edge features and exceptional performance. But which one takes the crown as the best big phone of 2024? Let's dive in and compare them side by side. Design. Starting with the design, both phones have distinct looks that reflect their brand identities. The iPhone 16 Pro Max stays true to Apple's iconic rectangular shape with flat sides and soft corners. This year, it features an even slimmer bezel, allowing for a larger 6.9-inch display. Samsung's Galaxy S24 Ultra, on the other hand, keeps its sleek, curved edges and integrates the ever-popular S Pen, a feature unique to Samsung's Ultra series. Size-wise, the differences are minimal. 
The iPhone 16 Pro Max measures 163 millimeters at 77.6 millimeters, while the Galaxy S24 Ultra is slightly shorter, but a bit wider at 162.3 millimeters x 79 millimeters. That extra width allows room for the S Pen, which gives Samsung an edge in productivity. Apple, however, introduces something new this year, the camera control button, a capacitive touch key that allows for zooming and other camera controls with a swipe. When it comes to color options, Apple sticks with its sophisticated muted tones, white, black, natural, and the new desert titanium. Samsung goes for more variety with options like titanium violet and yellow. And for those ordering through Samsung's website, you get access to exclusive colors like titanium blue and green. Display, now onto the display. Both phones deliver top tier screen technology. The iPhone 16 Pro Max boasts a 6.9 inch LED display with a buttery smooth 120 Hertz refresh rate. As with the iPhone 15 Pro series, you also get the always on display feature, which lowers the refresh rate to just one Hertz when the phone is idle. Samsung's Galaxy S24 Ultra isn't far behind with its stunning 6.8 inch A and LED display that also supports 120 Hertz refresh rates and an always on feature. One advantage Samsung brings is an anti-reflective coating, making outdoor visibility much easier in bright sunlight, something the iPhone lacks. Both displays are breathtakingly vibrant, but there are subtle differences in color. The iPhone 16 Pro Max tends to lean towards warmer yellowish tones, while the Galaxy S24 Ultra has a cooler, more tealish hue. A standout feature for the iPhone 16 Pro Max is its ability to drop its brightness to just one nit for easier nighttime viewing, great for late night scrolling. Performance, now let's talk about what's under the hood. The iPhone 16 Pro Max is powered by Apple's latest A18 Pro chip, built on a second generation three nanometer process. This makes it incredibly efficient with significant improvements in heat dissipation and sustained performance compared to its predecessor, the A17 Pro chip. Samsung's Galaxy S24 Ultra is no slouch either. It runs on the Qualcomm Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 chip, custom tuned for Galaxy devices. While the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 performs well, especially in gaming and graphics intensive tasks, it tends to throttle a bit sooner than Apple's 18 Pro under extreme stress. In benchmark tests, the iPhone 16 Pro Max leads in CPU performance, while the Galaxy S24 Ultra takes the edge in 3D graphics, scoring slightly higher in peak performance. However, Apple's new chip excels in long-term sustained performance, so if you're planning on pushing your phone to its limits, the iPhone may have a slight edge. Camera next, let's discuss one of the most critical aspects of any flagship phone, the cameras. The iPhone 16 Pro Max features a 48 megapixel main sensor paired with a new 48 megapixel ultra wide sensor and a 12 megapixel telephoto lens with 5X optical zoom. Apple has also introduced a new lens coating to minimize lens flare, addressing a common complaint in previous models. On the flip side, Samsung's Galaxy S24 Ultra brings its camera game with a 200 megapixel main camera, a 50 megapixel zoom lens, a 10 megapixel telephoto camera with 3x zoom, and a 12 megapixel ultra wide sensor. Samsung has packed in more megapixels, but remember, megapixels aren't everything. The iPhone tends to produce more natural looking photos, whereas the Galaxy S24 Ultra sometimes leans into oversaturation, delivering more vibrant images. In low light photography, both phones perform exceptionally well but Samsung's larger sensor can capture more detail in some scenarios. For video, the iPhone takes the crown with its 4K recording at 120 frames per second, ideal for capturing stunning slow motion footage. While Samsung's camera app offers tons of customization, Apple's new camera control button provides a more intuitive experience for videographers. Battery life and charging. In terms of battery life, the iPhone 16 Pro Max packs a 4,685 mAh battery while the Galaxy S24 Ultra edges it out with a 5,000 mAh battery. Both phones are more than capable of lasting through a day of heavy use, but Samsung's slightly larger battery may give it a slight advantage. When it comes to charging, Samsung takes the lead. The Galaxy S24 Ultra supports 45 watt wired charging compared to the iPhone's 20 watt charging speed. Samsung also has reverse wireless charging, which allows you to charge other devices like earbuds on the back of your phone, something Apple's iPhone 16 Pro Max doesn't offer. Software. Lastly, let's compare software. Both iOS and One UI are polished, mature operating systems, but they offer different user experiences. The iPhone 16 Pro Max is a fantastic choice. But if you're looking for more customization options, better charging speeds, and love the idea of an S Pen, the Galaxy S24 Ultra might be the perfect phone for you. Ultimately, 
Both of these phones are top tier devices with a ton to offer. Whichever one you choose, you're getting a powerful, feature-packed smartphone that will keep you ahead of the curve in 2024.